Greetings, unsettled souls. Yeah. Welcome to the correct views. Uh, going through the massive uh, Fukushima update. I personally found this to be quite alarming. This is from Yahoo News. Anytime a leftist rag like Yahoo News points out something like this, you can rest assured that it's something that you might want to be concerned about, to say the very least. Um, nuclear monitors say surveillance gear missing in Iran. Now, for those of you who don't know, Iran isn't just a song written by uh, the, an 80s band, um, Flock of Seagulls. Um, Iran is actually a country who has decided that it would be a really good idea to build a nuclear power plant on top of an active fault zone, learning absolutely nothing whatsoever from Fukushima. And again, we know that Iran is made up of terrorists and those who follow the false religion of peace. Um, and yes, I said it. I'm not sorry. Um, even if they weren't, even if they were the picture of prosperity, peace, and progress, it probably might not be a real red letter gonna good idea to build a nuclear power plant on a fault line, which the very experts who warned about Fukushima, and were right, and which were ignored, are saying that you cannot build this monstrosity in Bashar, Iran. Okay, so one, they're not cases. But even if they weren't not cases, you cannot build here. There is no other point of view. There is no reason for discussion. There is a right view and a wrong view to this particular instance. And if you think that you can build on an active fault zone without anything happening, then you are wrong. You have an incorrect view. That's the end of the story. There is no room for debate. I'm glad that we're clear. A mysterious blast, it says, that shook a centrifuge workshop in Iran is still reverberating among international nuclear monitors who are now reporting that some of their surveillance equipment went missing. Imagine that. Imagine that. Uh, following the June incident. The International Atomic Energy Agency, ever dependable, told diplomats in a restricted report that failure to recover its recording devices could imperil inspectors' ability to reconstruct activity at the facility in the town of Karaj, located near northwest Tehran. Let me help you put it together real quickly. People who follow this form of Islam believe that it's okay to lie to those who are not of the same form of Islam that you are, regardless of if they're Islamic or not, and you may lie to them for the good of progressing what it is that you are trying to achieve. In their case, it is the false worship of their false god in their false religion, which is known as the form of Islam, which is practiced by the leaders of Iran. I hope I didn't stutter. However, they want to pretend that we don't know what they're trying to do here. We know exactly what they're trying to do here. They're trying to build a nuclear bomb so that they can bring a caliphate into the world under the banner of their fake, yes, F-A-K-E, religion. The workshop, it says, produces components for centrifuges, the fast-spinning machines used to enrich uranium. Iran suspended IAEA access to the site in February, but allowed cameras to continue filming and said that the data would be given to inspectors if its, un if it's nuclear agreement with world powers is restored. Again, Donald Trump had this under control. Joe Biden letting it go the way of the Afghan withdrawal of the vaccine. You know what I'm saying? To go the wrong way, that's what I mean. To have an incorrect view. Very clear. The change in administration has held up the resumption of nuclear talks. Envoys assigned to the Vienna-based agency will have to decide whether to censure the Islamic Republic at an annual meeting next week. I'm sure they care. Iran originally suggested it had foiled a subterfuge plot against the Atomic Energy Organization facility. 
which again, I, I support Israel in doing this because these animals in no way should be allowed to build a nuclear power plant on an active fault zone. End of story. Subsequent, sa subsequent satellite images, uh, excuse me, posted by Israel's The Intel Lab showed pieces of roof missing. Iran blames the act of sabotage against its facilities on Israel. Good. Thank you, Israel. Um, with Israel last week pledging to wage a campaign of death by a thousand cuts against Iran's nuclear program, which is good, according to Harat's newspaper, the newest IAEA report gives diplomats yet another point to apply pressure on the Islamic Republic over its atomic activities and cooperation with monitors. Now keep in mind that my fear with Israel isn't that they're going to stop Iran from what they're doing. I hope that they do. Uh, my problem with Israel is that they're, they're running a risk of creating a nuclear mishap in the way that they're trying to stop it, so I don't want to be confusing. I'm not in favor of that. I think it could end up uh, uh, creating a situation. And this might be the bigger case. Make sure you share this video. It's why you hit share. It's why you hit subscribe. It's why this is the correct views. There is a very good chance that they, the, the monsters that are running Iran, they want Israel to create a nuclear disaster because, like many terrorists, they don't care what happens to their own people who would be poisoned. But the effects due to the jet stream could poison Israel in a way that is worse than a nuclear bomb blast. And if you think that Iran would not sacrifice their own people for such, a, a, such an outcome, then you're simply wrong. They absolutely would. It says, uh, following a flurry of letters exchanged between the IAEA and Iran in August, the Islamic Republic took some steps to clarify the fate of the surveillance gear. The country allowed inspectors on September 4th to view the cameras that were installed at the centrifuge workshop. One was destroyed, another was severely damaged, and two more appeared intact, according to the 16-page IAEA report. So you can't tell what Iran's doing here? Of course you can. You're trying to cover for it because it's politically correct, because you won't do what I did. You won't do what I did and say that their religion is wrong. There is no exception to that. That is truth. It is historically provable. And if you don't like it, you're wrong. The other thing that people will not do is they will not say that regardless of if they are wrong-minded or not, in their religion and in their practice and in their humanity, that they cannot build on that site regardless of who they are. End of story. Discussion over. Discussion over. That is the way it is. That is correct. There is no other there is no other uh, opinion that matters since that one's right. I am so angry about this because I've been talking about it forever. <sighs> However, inspectors also noticed that, quote, the data storage medium and the recording unit from the destroyed camera were not present among the remnants, read the document. What a surprise. The, that resulted in another sternly worded letter on Monday, I'm sure they care, to Iran demanding recovery of the equipment. As of today, the agency is not in a position to recover continuity of knowledge over the activities recorded by these cameras. Who said that? The IAEA director, uh, Rafael Mariano Grossi, and he wrote that this is seriously compromising the agency's technical capability. In other words, what he said is Donald Trump was right. Let me, let me explain that to you. Donald Trump was right. Don't agree with it? That's fine. You're wrong. Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi said in a phone call with European Council President Charles Michael that a confrontation with the atomic watchdog would be unconstructive and could escalate tensions even further, according to the statement on Wednesday from the official site. No, that's not true. That's not true if the plan ends up being totally taken out, which I hope, if it's going to happen, is something that happens prior to when there are more nuclear materials in it. And if I offended you, that's fine. My opinion is still right. It's not an opinion, it's fact. That's why it's the correct view. Thank you for listening. Thank you for hitting share.